Amsterdam calling. So pick up. Hi everyone. Today we're going to continue our tour of Art Deco Amsterdam. We'll be making four stops and what is really cool is that they're all located on or off the main corridors of the city. Damrak, Roking and the Wijsselstraat. So they're really easy to find. We begin here at Amsterdam Central Station. Everyone has been through it at least once, but not everyone knows about this one hidden gem inside. It is the First Class Grand Café, and it sits in what were originally the lounges for the First Class train passengers. The station was built in 1889 by famous architect Pierre Kuipers, who also built the Rijksmuseum. Although not officially Art Deco, Kuipers' style heavily influenced the designers of the Amsterdam School, such as Berlage and de Klerk. I can totally imagine getting drunk before my first class train ride. This large room is the former grand pub. Whatever you do, don't touch the parrot. Just after Danbrak from Central Station is the Beurs van Berlage. Beurs means stock exchange in Dutch and H.P. Berlage is its famous Amsterdam School architect. In the early 1900s, Berlage completed this next home for the Dutch stock exchange. Now it functions as a public space for big events but you can still get its Art Deco flavor from inside the Grand Café. In the main dining hall you can check out the very cool tiled murals by Dutch artist Jan Torop. They represent the past, present and future. Our next stop is right here on the Rokin, one of the busiest streets in Amsterdam. And this is where we find our next Art Deco gem, Tobacconist Hyenius. Welcome to Hyenius, we're the oldest tobacco shop in Amsterdam. This is a showcase for all your cigars. My grandfather would love this place because here you can mix your own pipe tobacco. They have 39 flavors to choose from. This is the climate controlled area to properly preserve the tobacco. I love the ceiling. Yeah. If you're a cigar smoker, then this is the place to come to for quality cigars. And if you're not a smoker, then just pop your head in and check out their awesome interior. Another prime example of Art Deco architecture is this building, which is simply called De Basel. Every Saturday and Sunday they give tours of the building and we are going to join them. Named for its architect, Karel de Basel, it was built in 1926 for the Nederlandse Handelmaatschappij, or the Netherlands Trading Society. Later it became the headquarters for the Dutch bank ABN AMRO, and now it houses the city's archives, the Stadsarchief. At one point during World War II, the Nazis wanted to move into this building, and they marked the time at which the building had to be evacuated by shooting at the dial. When designing this hallway, the Basel was inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright's factories from the early 1900s. This is the entrance to the original safe deposit of the Netherlands Trading Society. Later, the ABN AMRO Bank used it for their clients. In the treasury there are a number of exhibitions, even in the former safe rooms. The, the Basel building had a very advanced heating system. This is the original control panel from the boiler room. Besides the Art Deco architecture, the Stadsarchief is a fascinating visit, as it is the biggest city archive in the world. They have countless historical artifacts, including things from Anne Frank, Johan Cruijff and Gustav Mahler, and there are always exhibitions and events going on. I'm Sander Oudkerk for Amsterdam Calling. If you've liked this video, please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to your YouTube channel. See you next time!